Mark, tell me about the treatment options for acute pancreatitis. We hear a lot about supportive care. What does supportive care mean? Well, supportive care means that you provide the patient with uh, therapies that will help them get through the illness. It's important to remember we don't have any cures or specific treatments for acute pancreatitis at this point. Although many people are thinking about this and in the future that may happen. Right now, um, most people who care for patients with pancreatitis believe that IV therapy, IV fluids are important early. And the other aspect that's almost universal in children who are hospitalized for pancreatitis is pain medication. And typically that's given through an IV as well. One of the th big things that's changed over time is that we no longer keep children for long periods of time without eating. Um, most centers now and most people to, who care for children with pancreatitis will allow them to start eating within 24 to 48 hours after they're admitted to the hospital. And that's guided by the child usually. Um, typically they will tell you when they're hungry. Um, and we don't need to wait until laboratory values or other findings uh, normalize, which has been a standard practice in the past. I think that's been one of the biggest um, changes in how we manage uh, pancreatitis, both in adults and children. In a typical course of mild pancreatitis, the IV fluid and pain medication is generally all that's needed to get them through the episode and get them back home. Typically, they don't go home on any other medications. Now, a child who has a much more complicated course or a longer course may need specific interventions to treat fluid or infection uh, that can occur um, around the pancreas in particular, uh, but those are, are uncommon. And some of the children with longer, more complicated courses may go home on some form of uh, oral pain medication. But most children don't require that, and once they're home, uh, they go back to uh, the regular diet and regular activities. Can families ever treat a mild episode of acute pancreatitis at home without hospitalization? I think that's possible. Frequently, children who've had repeated episodes of pancreatitis, their course is usually uh, pretty much the same. And as long as uh, the child can drink enough, that they can stay hydrated, and that pain can be controlled with simple medicines like um, acetaminophen or Tylenol, I think it's safe to keep those, those children at home. Usually with the first episode um, that presents oftentimes to the emergency department or their doctor's office, we generally admit those children rather than treat at home. But I think it's important to remember that I think um, we know now that in the past, many children were told they had a viral illness and were treated at home and not in the hospital. Right, no, that's a very good point. Um, it's always important, though, to keep in mind um, that if we're considering keeping a child at home, that we want those families to make sure that we have good communication with them. Yes, clearly. absolutely. And those families are typically well aware of what the, the usual symptoms are and if anything's any different. Uh, you know, fever, the pain changes, the child starts vomiting. Uh, they know that they need to get in touch with their physician, and oftentimes that may lead to a hospitalization. But I think in the kids who've had uh, recurrent episodes, it's often possible to keep them at home.